What's good, YouTube and returning life gainers? The Arnold Classic is over with, and your winner, William Bonick. I hope I'm pronouncing this brother's name right. Took it, and there was a lot of competition behind him. Old legend himself, Dexter Jackson, still hanging in there, and that's the rest of your results. Let me not forget about the physique competition. I've got a picture of that one here, too. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so that you're down every time I drop a life gains video. We do more than fitness on this channel. Money saving, streaming, we do it all. But today we're talking to Arnold and what small controversy it had. Let's go. What's good, YouTube? All oh, knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sexy as hell host. We're bringing you life, game, fitness, and we are talking the Arnold Classic, the second biggest bodybuilding show in all the world, only behind Mr. Olympia. This is the pinnacle of what you can see a body can transform into in terms of lower body fat, aesthetics, and just big muscles. And it went down this weekend, but not without a little bit of controversy. Some pictures went viral from the Arnold Classic of some people that wasn't into bodybuilding shape. And that caused some questions. So we're gonna take a look at those pictures and we're gonna get the discussion popping. Leave me a comment below. How do you feel about the sport of bodybuilding? Do you watch it? Do you care? Do you think these dudes are freaks? What is your general opinion? Now let's go ahead and jump on into this roll of pictures, but first, me put on my plus seven glasses of sexy as hell. Work on skilling up this YouTube crowd, giving you guys a better informed review. Now let's take a look at these pictures so you can see what we're working with. What do you think after seeing those pictures? Do you think promoters should start screening people before they get on that stage? Or do you feel, hey, if they know they don't look all that good and they wanna pay the money to get up there and let them do it? The whole thing of bodybuilding, at the end of the day, we have to remember it is entertainment. And I don't think any promoter is gonna just not let these people get up there because that's more money to the promoter. And there are people out there that feel as though you know, they should just get up there. Some people made a tremendous weight loss transformation and just want to be on stage. Maybe that gives them comfort. They have no intentions of winning. They just want to get up there. So I want to know what you guys think. Let's get the discussion popping. If you don't look like you need to be on stage and you carry in more than 20% body fat, do you think it's up to the promoter to say, we're not going to let you get up there? Or do you think they should just pay that money, get up there? And as you heard in the video, some people was laughing at these guys. And this channel is not about shaming anybody. However, this is a fitness competition. This is a bodybuilding competition. And the whole point of these competitions is to see who has the lowest body fat with the most aesthetically pleasing physique with the biggest muscles. And that can vary person to person. You might be a guy with huge muscles, but you might not be as lean as the guy next to you. And the guy next to you might have bigger muscles, might not be as lean, but his aesthetics are better. That's the purpose of these shows. So let me know in the comment sections how you feel and what you think the future of these competitions should be with people getting on the stage looking the way we just saw. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go out there, get yourself a life game. Check the video description box. Check out my affiliates. Do business with them. Do business with me. If you really enjoyed this content and you've made it this far through the video, 
why not go ahead and subscribe to my Patreon, donate 50 cent, a dollar, whatever you want to a brother. It all helps me to bring you this wonderful content that you seem to love and enjoy. And until the next Sexy as Hell video, I'll see you.